Hello, this is Adam Goldberg, co-founder and chief innovation officer at Clear Sailing. Today we're going to do a video blog with the title being Connecting Rings, Bricks, and Clicks. In other words, connecting your online advertising to your offline conversions. If you're a company uh, or a business that has many conversions uh, occurring offline, it's really important that you understand if online advertising is what's really driving those offline conversions. Of course, you could go out there and just trust a lot of the studies that are done by search engines and other third-party sources that basically say, yes, for each online order you get from your advertising, there is likely X number of offline orders that occurred. But really what you want to do is understand specifically what's going on in, in your world. And in order to do that, there's actually some simple tactics that marketers can employ to understand which offline conversions that they've uh, had are a result of the online advertising that you're purchasing. So there's a couple of things that need to happen to, to pull this off. First off, the trick. The trick is really about getting the customer that purchased offline back to the website after they converted offline. The thought there is, is that if they were online uh, prior to their offline purchase and you have a tracking system in place, that person would have cookies associated with them with any ad that they use to visit your site. But if they decided to purchase offline, the way your tracking would look is if there was no conversion. You see that they visited the site, but because the conversion took place offline, there's no record of it. So if we were able to get that customer back to the website after they purchase offline, we could match those cookies up and say, oh, wait a second. This person was here prior to their offline purchase, and here were the ads that they used to make that sale occur. You could tie those two pieces together. Now, that trick needs uh, some help in pulling it off. In fact, what you need is some incentive. Because why would a customer that purchased offline want to go back to your website after the offline purchase occurred? And in order to give them some reason to do that, you need to create some incentive. Now, some businesses inherently have them. We'll talk about those. And for other businesses, you're going to need, need to create a reason, perhaps by offering up some coupons, uh, entry into a contest, a warranty, a rebate, or some other reason that after they purchase offline, they're incented to get back online. So there's really three methods for, for making this occur, and we'll, we'll talk about each one of those individually. The first one, for some businesses, they have this principle of a My Account tab. And inherently, they just have a natural structure or customer buying process, which uh, adheres itself to going back online after purchase. If we think of a telco or a wireless company, or we think of a travel company, though you may go shop for uh, online for a wireless phone, when you decide which phone you want from which company, you're generally going to drive to one of their stores, purchase that phone in person, get it that day. But after you purchase that phone, part of the standard customer buying behavior is often to go back online more often than not and set up the My Account tab. The My Account tab allows you to establish uh, automated billing, email billing, uh, information about minutes. Uh, what your, your plan is, when it's up, future promotions and options. So if that customer was online prior to buying that mobile phone at a brick and mortar, and then after they purchased, they went online and set up the My Account tab, well, we know that in order to have a My Account, that you must have made a purchase. And if we don't have record of that sale of commencing online, we know it must have been an offline order. Now, on most account tabs, they will list what product you purchased or at least a customer ID number. So the marketer, therefore, could say, okay, the person that set up this My Account tab by stringing together those cookies also engaged in this advertising over here. We know which customer they are as well, so we can look in our back office system and say, oh, customer one, two, three, they purchased a two-year plan, and here's what they did. You now, other businesses like travel this works for as well. Very often, you'll book travel offline over the phone, but after you purchase your trip, you're going to go back online and look at your itinerary, you're going to sign up for different uh, parts of that trip. If you're taking a cruise, you're going to register for different dinners and things like that. Therefore, that loop is closed and they have the ability to match the cookies. Now, not every business has the luxury of my account. So some businesses, another technique that they can use is employing the loyalty card. So you have a customer online, they click on some ads, but they decide that they're going to go purchase at a brick and mortar. They go ahead and they swipe their loyalty card. There's really two scenarios here that we need to address. The first scenario is, is the easiest. This is where the customer, when they made it to your site the first time, they logged in. Okay, But then they decided to purchase offline, and when they go ahead and they swipe that loyalty card, a loyalty card is tied to an email address, it's tied to uh, a customer name, an address, and other things such as that. Once that offline sale occurs with a loyalty card, the marketer can then go back and look and say, okay, within the last 
reasonable period of time do we have a record of this person logging in? And if so, you can look at how they got to the site at those times of logging in and attribute whatever ads were used to get them online to the offline order. But in many cases, that customer will not log in. Maybe they visited the website but chose not to log in, so therefore the marketer won't have the luxury of simply looking back at the login logs. So now what we need to do is create some incentive or a technique to get that person that used the loyalty card back to the website so we can see if there's cookies there that need to be matched. And that brings us to our third and final technique, which uses the simple form of email. Every company is able to use this final technique and effectively what you're doing at the time of checkout at a brick and mortar or a, a phone conversion is you're firing off an email that, that comes after that order takes place. Within that email, you're going to include a link and you need to create an incentive for a person to want to give the email address. We already talked about some of those coupons, a loyalty program that you're going to enter them in, a contest, a rebate, a warranty, or something else. They provide the email, you send out an email with the link, they click the link in the email, it brings them back to the website. And because we know that the only way to make it through the website from one of these emails is if an offline order took place. And now we are able to match up the cookies again and say, oh yes, prior to this offline order, they saw two display ads and they clicked on this paid search ad. Now, how do we know what they purchase offline? There's a couple of ways to do this. One is, one in that email, you can embed a customer ID. So then through a, a back office kind of lookup, you can say, okay, this customer made order 456. You look up the contents of 456, you got revenue, yeah, you could calculate profit. Now you have a way to attribute the value of that offline conversion to the online ads. So if you're already a business that's already tracking you know, advertising and visits to your website, you're 90% of the way there. All you now need to do is go ahead and put one of these three techniques that I described today into action to get those offline customers back to the website so that you can close that loop. Once you do so, you'll start to realize that your online advertising is a lot more valuable than you're able to see it being today, which is going to lead you to do many different things. Probably push more budget to the online channel, have different types of optimization decisions. Because you find it more valuable, you're likely to bid more and want to buy more. And doing such things and connecting those dots is going to give you a much higher return on your ad spend than you're currently receiving today. I'm Adam Goldberg. Uh, Chief Innovation Officer at Clear Sailing. That was connecting rings and clicks, or sorry, rings and bricks to clicks. Thank you.